Hello boys and girls. Today we are going to be using, excuse me, our warm and cool colors to create our project with our leaf floating in the background. Um, if you are trying to draw a tip, different types of leaves, I want you to either look at the example on canvas or if there are some leaves floating around at home that you want to use to reference, you may do that as well. The first leaf, I want us to do at least two leaves so that they can have um, enough composition in our artwork to see the difference between our warm and cool colors. So maybe for this first leaf, I'm gonna use kind of a curvilinear line and a curvilinear line. Then I'm gonna have a stem that comes off this line down here. And I'm gonna make the veins inside my leaf. And it's more of a middle line down the center. And you can experiment with having fun curvilinear lines that come off of your leaf when you observe a leaf like a scientist close up you'll see how it stems out from the center when you're done separating your spaces you're going to create at least one more leaf on the other side for balance and this one i think i'm going to have it be more of an abstract looking kind of maple, if you will. All right, now I'm gonna separate it down the center here and section it off so that it's gonna create some windows of color opportunity. You are going to decide, are you going to have only warm colors in your leaves or are you gonna have cool colors in your leaves? If you're trying to go with a more realistic picture, generally you will find more warm colors of leaves um, than you would in your background. Or that, sorry, scratch that, Mrs. Stevenson doesn't wanna confuse you. So you would find more warm colors within your leaves than you would cool colors. Blues, green leaves, yes we have, but in fall, the season that we're in, we would see more warm colors, and now we would see more brown, uh, not a warm or cool, that, um, because of the weather changing. Oh, now Siri on my watch is starting to chime in. Sorry about that. So. I'm gonna have my leaves in my masterpiece be warm colors, and I'm gonna have my background be cool colors. You are more than welcome to have your background be a little bit abstract or um, with shapes. So what I mean by that, maybe because cool colors remind me of water, I'm going to have my background separated with at least mm, seven sections. So we have one, two, three, four, and I don't want to get too carried away because then it gets too busy. Five and six, seven. So maybe I'll do a, eh, another separate space here and there. All right, now comes the fun part of color. You can decide what kind of art medium you would like to use. If you want to use markers or crayons or colored pencils or oil pastels, I'm going to use the colored, or excuse me, the oil pastels to show you um, how I'm going to do mine. When I start, I'm actually going to outline with black, but this is really, really important. If you're using the oil pastels, you do not want to put your hand on top of where you color or it'll be a smeary mess. So move your paper around so that you're not overlapping. And I suggest doing it in sections so you don't run into trouble of having your pastels become a swirly, blurry masterpiece. When you're finished tracing over the veins of your leaf, then I'm gonna start with my warm color of uh, 
family color within my oil pastels and each section that is separated by the vein of my leaf I'm gonna color in a warm color so what is Mrs. Stevenson talking about this little shape right here I'm gonna start by outlining and then coloring this in before I jump to a different color I can move my paper around you can see Mrs. Stevenson had a oil pastel on her wrist that I kind of put over here that's why I want us to be moving around our paper if you're using the oil pastels. Always make your walls of color and then fill it in. Then I'm gonna jump around over here and add a little bit of red to balance over here. All right, now I need another new warm color. I'm going to switch to some yellow and outline and then color it in. So I'm balancing my warm color inside my leaf to make it really pop out vibrantly. When you jump to the background, and Mrs. Stevenson is gonna do that right now, you wanna think about your cool color families, which are going to be our blues, our greens, our purples, our um, turquoise. Instead of necessarily having to outline your background with black if you want to outline with the cool color that you're using you may do that maybe you don't want to fill it in solid maybe you do I'm going to just because I think it's gonna be a little bit more powerful so I'm coloring this section that I created with my line this nice vibrant blue Maybe for the section over here, I'm gonna go with a purple or a turquoise. As long as it's in your cool color family, that is what is a-okay. I think actually I grabbed this green, I'm gonna go over with the green. So, all of the detail in my background is going to be cool colors. All of the detail in my leaves are going to be what kind of colors? Hopefully you all said warm at home. I am going to now let you guys get to work so that you can have enough time to create your awesome project. I can't wait for all of the beautiful work to come to vision on our Padlet below and I can't wait to see you soon. All right, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye.